Hello. In this lecture, I will explain the basic concepts of square roots, radicals, and complex numbers. Square roots and radicals. If a square of c is 2, then c does not exist in the rational number. Therefore, defining square roots and radicals are necessary to express the irrational number. So c is defined as positive and negative square root of 2. Square root of a is equal to a to the power of a half. The power of one third is equal to cube root, and the power of one fourth is equal to fourth root. When m is an integer greater than or equal to three, the power of one over m is equal to m root. Check the slide to see how to read these radicals. In case of a to the n over m power, when n and m are natural numbers, it is equal to m root of a to the n power. That is, Take the power first and then roots. There are also properties of red cars which are similar to the exponent. Number one, mth root of a times mth root of b equals to mth root of ab. Number two, mth root of a divided by mth root of b equals to mth root of a over b. Number three, mth root of a to the power of n equals to a to the power of n over m. Number four, mth root of nth root of a equals to mnth root of a. Square root of negative three is equal to square root of three times i, where i is equal to square root of negative one. These are not real numbers, but called imaginary numbers. Cube root of negative eight is negative two. Fourth root of a is a real number, but fourth root of negative a isn't. When a is a negative real number and m is even, the mth root of a is not a real number. Now, let's see what the imaginary and complex numbers are. Square root of negative 2 is equal to square root of 2 times i, where i is equal to square root of negative 1. Remember that any real number times i is the general form of the imaginary numbers then squares of all imaginary numbers are negative real numbers, while squares of all real numbers are positive. Any distinct numbers can compare which is larger or smaller, but the distinct complex numbers cannot do that. Moreover, while real numbers exist on our real lives as lengths, volumes, weights, etc., the imaginary numbers don't. A form of an addition of a real number and an imaginary number is called a complex number. This is the concept of numbers up to complex number. We first start learning the counting numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 10, and so on. These are called natural numbers. They can be divided into three parts, which are 1, prime numbers, and multiples. Of course, it can be divided into odd and even. And then, the numbers are expanded to integers. The integers include negative numbers and zero, as well as natural numbers. Then the numbers are expanded to rational numbers. The non-integer rational numbers consist of finite and circulating decimals. All fractions are possible to be expressed into these decimals. And there are numbers which are expressible in the real field, but not expressible by circulating decimals. These are called irrational numbers. The examples of irrational numbers are square root of 2 and pi. And lastly, complex numbers consist of the real numbers and the imaginary numbers. How was this video? Please hit like if you liked my video today, and subscribe if you want to study math with my videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.